السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome back to the disciplines and ideas in the social sciences. Our topic for today is about the research designs and methods in social science. This module will be divided into two parts. This video will discuss the research and the research process. Part 2 will discuss the research designs and methods. Please click on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet. Also like the video and if you have questions, write them in the comments below. Thank you. The most essential learning competency for this lesson is for the students to differentiate the nature and functions of social science disciplines with the natural sciences and humanities. Specifically, this module will help you to recognize the various research designs and methods utilized in social sciences, make a short research proposal about a certain social issue, and value the significance of social science research as a powerful tool to analyze various problems and issues in human society. A little review from lesson one. Answer the following questions. Question number one. Which of the following definitions best describes the term society? A. It is a small group of people whose members share tight, personal, and lasting relationships. B. It is a large social group where the relationships among members are usually impersonal and goal-oriented. C. It is a collection of people whose members frequently meet and consider themselves as parts of a group. D. It is an organized group of individuals whose members regularly meet or work together and have a shared culture, interest, and territory. The correct answer is letter D. Question number two. The following are the disciplines that are both associated with social sciences and humanities except blank. A. Anthropology. B. Economics. C. History. D. A. Linguistics. The correct answer is letter B. Question number three. Which academic discipline studies different human conditions and the ways wherein the human experiences are processed and recorded? A. Humanities. B. Natural Science. C. Philosophy. D. Social Science. The answer is A. Humanities. Question number four. Which of the following terms refers to the body of knowledge concerned with the systematic study of different facets of our society, several social phenomena, and the effects of these occurrences on people's lives? A. Humanities. B. Natural Science. C. Philosophy. D. Social Science. The correct answer is D. Social Science. Question number five. What element of social sciences places the entire area of study on the members of the society and their social environments or backgrounds? A. Empirical analysis. B. Nature. C. Society. D. Superstition. The answer is society, letter C. A reminder on the virtue of seeking knowledge. Narrated by Abu Huraira, that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Whoever takes a path upon which to obtain knowledge, Allah makes the path to paradise easy for him. Research and the Research Process Before we discuss the research designs and methods in social sciences, let us first discuss what is scientific method. According to Anil Bhattacharjee's social science research, principles, methods, and practices in 2012, Scientific method is the systematic process that refers to a standardized series of practices for constructing scientific knowledge such as how to create genuine observations, how to explain the results, and how to make comprehensive assumptions using those outcomes. It is a set of processes that people can utilize to gather scientific knowledge about anything under the sun, to enhance that knowledge, and by acquiring knowledge, to try interpreting why and or how numerous phenomena happen. The scientific process usually starts with the identification of the problem or issue that you want to study or resolve. Afterwards, you will need to gather more information about the problem and come up with your hypothesis, or a scientific guess of what would be the best solution for this problem, or what would happen if a certain phenomenon is tested under specific set of conditions. If you are using an experimental design, you will test your hypothesis through a series of experiments or through different setups that are closely observed by the researcher. Afterwards, you check whether the data or information you get confers with your hypothesis. So, you conclude whether to reject or accept your hypothesis and you give recommendations on what could be done next or what potential problems could be studied next. Moreover, what is research? 
In general, research is a process of systematic inquiry that entails collection of data, documentation of critical information, and analysis and interpretation of that information, using suitable methodologies set by specific professional fields and academic disciplines. The goal of research is to recognize the laws and hypothesize theories that can interpret various natural or social phenomena, or in other words, to construct scientific knowledge. In social sciences, research is considered as an essential tool because the people and the society are benefiting from it. The research process. Different references will show you different phases on the research process. But for this module, the research process phases that we are going to discuss are exploration, research design, research proposal, research execution, and research report. Exploration phase. In exploration phase, the researcher is trying to identify and specify the research questions that he would like to study. It is essential to be very specific about your research questions since these are the very questions that you will need to address at the end of your research. In this phase, you will also need to review related literature and studies about your research questions. This will help you further specify your questions or to provide insights on what are the current trend in this topic or what has been studied so far in this specific topic. Included in the reviewing of literature is researching about theories that may be applicable to your study or theories that can help you attain the answers to your research questions. Certain theories may also help you in determining the proper methods to use in your research as well as the frameworks or standards you can follow in order to get data that are relevant to your study. Research design. In this phase, the researcher will decide on the best research design suited for his or her study. Research design phase is involved with the development of a series of activities to be performed in order to satisfactorily answer the research questions identified in the exploration phase. Operationalization is the procedure of developing specific measures for abstract theoretical concepts. It has two steps. First is the specification of the operational definitions explaining the concepts in the study that will be measured or utilized. Second, the study of published literature to see if there are present approved measures similar to the researcher's operational definitions that can be utilized directly or modified to measure the researcher's theoretical concepts. After this, the selection of research method to be applied in order to collect data that will help the researcher address the research questions and describe the topic accurately. After the aforementioned phases, a research proposal is prepared and presented to a board of examiners that will evaluate the proposal if it is feasible, time-bound or the research questions are relevant or significant. The research execution phase includes three tasks. First is the pilot testing. Although, in a small-scale research, pilot testing is usually skipped. However, it is a tremendously significant stage of the research process because it helps in the detection of possible issues in the research design and measurement instruments. Next is the data collection. This is the process of gathering and measuring accurate information in an established systematic way that allows a researcher to answer his or her research questions or to test the hypothesis of the study. For example, this is where the researcher interview respondents or does a survey or experiment in a laboratory and record all data. Last on this phase is the data analysis. Once the data have been collected, sorted, and arranged, it is then analyzed for the intention of drawing conclusions regarding the desired research quest ions. The research report. The research report format is usually set by your school or university. For more information about that, please refer to your school's research coordinator. The tasks included in this phase are data interpretation, drawing of conclusion and writing of the recommendations. In data interpretation, after analyzing the data, you have to present your findings in a visual manner by the use of non-prose materials such as graphs, tables, charts and the like. The findings and interpretation will be discussed exhaustively in this section. Afterwards is the drawing of conclusion. Once you have summarized the findings and your interpretation, the researcher will now state his or her conclusion. For example, a researcher may accept or reject a certain hypothesis. Lastly, recommendations on how to improve the study or potential problems that is related to the topic that can be further studied are discussed in the recommendations section. That is the first part of this module. Please watch the part two. There, 
we will discuss research designs and methods as well as the research format of our school. Thank you for watching. See you in part two.